Hey guys, so last week I actually pruned all the lavender in this bed and I got a lot of questions on just growing lavender so you have lavender to prune. And so in this video today, I'm gonna to take you through planting lavender both in the ground and especially in pots because I know a lot of people who don't enjoy a Mediterranean climate like we've got here struggle to grow lavender sometimes. So with this video, I'm gonna take the struggle away so no matter where you live, what kind of climate you have, you can grow great lavender. Hey, I'm Brian with Next Level Gardening. If you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help take your garden to the next level, you're in the right place. Get started now by clicking subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Now let's get growing. So we're revamping the Mediterranean garden, the herb garden uh, a little bit. If you watched that pruning video, you saw me take out this huge blue hibiscus that was right here. That blue hibiscus not only took away the view of the mountains from our window, but it also took away the sun from these two lavenders that I planted here, which for some reason still have the tags on them. In fact, I had three and one has died because of the lack of sun. But now that we've opened this area up and there is some sun, I planted a row of artichokes right here. And then in front of that, I'm gonna have a line of lavender. But these are standards. They're trained like a little tree. And so they're not gonna fit in with the rest of the lavender I'm planting here, but I definitely don't wanna get rid of them. This one here has just been, it was covered by the hibiscus on this side. So it got sun on the front and that's the only place there is growth now. This one here got uh, more sun. You can see there's a little bit dead right here, but most of it looks really great. These are Spanish lavender. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking both of these out and planting them in pots. So I'll be able to show you how to do that. And then in their place, I've got a whole string of the same exact variety, but they're not trained into standards. And so we're gonna have a line of those right here along this wall. Now, everything in this garden is watered by drip. We've got drip emitters to everything and they go on, uh, especially in the summer, every other day for 15 minutes. So let's talk really quick about some of the requirements for lavender whether they're in the ground or in pots. Lavender, they're definitely not picky about soil type. Uh, they will grow in the worst possible soil other than being heavy clay and bogged down with water. They don't like a lot of water at all. Lavender will let you know when they're underwatered by wilting a little bit. Their leaves might look a little grayer than the bright gray green that they already are and each individual leaf might get a little thinner, more like a, a rosemary, just kind of shriveled a little bit. Lavender that's had too much water is gonna let you know by turning yellow very quickly and dying. So you get way more leeway with a dry lavender, overly dry lavender, than with an overly wet lavender. Our soil here is a good mix of clay and decomposed granite. So it does hold on to water and nutrients, but it's free draining as well. So it's just a good mixture between the two. Now, if your soil is heavier than that, you're gonna to need to amend it. And the best thing to use, if you have a heavy clay soil, uh, you can throw some compost in there, not too much. We don't wanna make it too rich of a soil because lavender doesn't like that. But you can throw some compost in there. I would also mix in some gravel pea gravel, some small type of gravel, uh, maybe some decomposed granite if you have access to it. You just want to bulk up that soil with different size bits of rock and gravel to get the water to be able to drain well through that. And if you're planting in the ground, you wanna amend an area that's about two to three uh, times the diameter of the plant pot, of the pot you're planting, of the plant, of the pot the plant is in. So before we dig these out, I'm gonna go ahead and plant these where they're gonna go and then we'll be able to dig these out and pot them. And then we'll talk about growing lavender in pots for all of you who can't grow them in the ground. And the reasons you couldn't grow them in the ground would be soil that you just can't amend well enough um, or if it gets too cold. Now most lavender are hardy from zones five to nine. Uh, lavender stochus or Spanish lavender, which I'm planting here, is actually hardy uh, seven to nine. So it's a little less hardy uh, for the winters if you get colder winters. Also, you might wanna plant them in pots if you live in an area with high rainfall in the summer. As we already discussed, lavender doesn't like a lot of water and you can't control the rain. So if you do live in an area of high humidity, high summer rain, best to grow them in pots. And we'll get to that in just a minute. 
Now we're gonna take our cue on spacing from these lavender that I cut back last week. These are planted about two and a half to three feet apart. And I would say that's just perfect and possibly a little close. They were growing together at that point. So it just depends on the look you want, but I would say anywhere between two and three feet would be a good spacing. So to plant the lavender, I'm just gonna dig the hole. I don't need to amend it because I've already got well-draining soil. If you need to amend, this is the time to do that. Now I'm gonna plant this at the level that it was growing in the pot and about a foot back from the wall because I'm okay if it hangs over the wall a bit. Um, however, if you have a less than ideal soil in terms of drainage, you can go ahead and plant that an inch or so up on a mound, maybe even two inches, and that's gonna help the water drain away rather than kind of sitting in like a little swamp there. And definitely make sure there's no uh, moat or watering basin around the lavender. It doesn't want water to collect around its roots. So flatten it all out. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the soil has a mixture of red, which is the clay and yellow which is the decomposed granite. So it gives it kind of an orangey overall appearance. And in a couple of weeks, we're gonna be ordering some gravel mulch. And this entire bed will be mulched in a, uh, a gravel that's about this size, uh, maybe a tiny bit smaller and about that color, kind of a, a yellowy tan color, just to you know, go with the Mediterranean vibe. All right, so let's first talk about what kind of pot to use when you're growing lavender. Now these are terracotta, that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, these were the ones that had my tulip lasagna in it and they did amazing. Um, if you wanna be ready to plant tulips in the fall and you wanna know how to do it to get a display, I'll try to show some video or pictures here, a display like this that lasts a couple of months, I'll put that link down below. But pot type is important. Um, if you live in a wet climate, a, a humid climate, then terracotta would be a great choice. Fabric would also be a great choice. If you live in a dry climate, plastic or resin pots would be a good choice because they, they tend to hold a little bit more of the moisture in there. However, I'm planting a Mediterranean garden, so terracotta is pretty much the only choice, right, visually? So then that brings me to what kind of planting medium to put inside. If you live in a dry climate like I do, and especially if you're using a terracotta pot that is going to breathe and it's gonna dry out quicker, then you wanna use a regular potting mix. If you live in a wet or humid climate, um, or if you're using a plastic pot or something that holds the uh, moisture in better, then you might wanna go with a cactus type of potting mix and maybe mix that in with a little regular potting mix, maybe a 50-50 blend. And that's gonna give uh, the plant a lot more drainage to compensate for the uh, pot that's gonna hold in that moisture or a climate that just naturally gives you a lot of moisture. So I'm gonna pull these tulips out. They performed really well. They will not come back again here in this climate. Uh, so they're gonna go right into the compost bin. Okay. Pot is empty and ready to fill. Um, you wanna make sure you have good drainage. Make sure you've got either a large hole in the bottom or if it's a plastic pot, make sure you have several holes drilled and you can just use a drill and put a few more holes in there. If it's one large hole, you can put a broken piece of pot or a rock over it just to keep it from uh, clogging with, so with the potting mix. Just enough to cover the bottom. I'm not exactly sure how big these root balls are gonna be when we dig them out. And it is time to find that out. How big will this root ball be? I wanna go ahead and take away the drip so I don't cut it. And I'm gonna start out just on the outer perimeter of the drip line of the plant. And just dig all the way around. All right. 
There we have it. All right, so we're just gonna set that down. We wanna make sure that the top of the, where it was growing in the ground is just under, maybe a half inch or so under the lip, uh, the rim of the pot. And we'll just go ahead and fill in around it. Now you probably notice I didn't put any fertilizer at planting time in uh, for the ones in the ground. And I'm not gonna do any with the one in the pot either. They just don't need it. Now, if for whatever reason you find that your lavender pot after a few months is just not thriving, then you can give it uh, maybe a half strength liquid organic fertilizer. Uh, you don't want a slow release fertilizer because then that's just gonna keep feeding it and you just don't want that. You just don't need that. Why waste the money when it's not the, what the plant wants? Now I'm watering this in well, and I'm gonna do the same with the ones in the ground. Uh, and I will cut the tag off finally. I'm gonna wait and prune it. There are some dead areas that need to be cut out, but I'm just gonna let it rest in the pot. Uh, you know, this is a traumatic event that it just went through. And so in about a week or so, uh, I'll give it a light prune just, just to prune out any dead uh, spots. And then we'll be good to go. And when you're watering in pots, you always wanna water until you see it coming out the bottom. And then just go a little bit longer just to make sure it's all soaked in. So that's it guys, growing lavender in pots or in the ground wherever you live. If you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up. Share with a friend if you will. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.